Okay, I want you to think about something real quick. First of all, Jesus is the Lord. Okay, Jesus is Lord. All right, first and foremost. And I'm not talking he's not just a prophet. He is the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, virgin birth, almighty, holy one of Israel, uh, Savior, Messiah. Okay, I'm just saying, Jesus is the Lord. The highest among all those that... All beings of creation, all things, Jesus is the highest. Okay? I'm just saying. Now, all there's a lot of Christians out there who are pointing to Obama and saying Obama is the Antichrist. Not a Antichrist, but the Antichrist. Okay? Now, if the, if the Christians are saying that, does that give Obama the opportunity to say to the Muslim world, look at what all the Christians are saying. They're saying, I'm their Antichrist, which makes me your Mahdi. In other words, to the Muslims, he'd say, the Christians are saying I'm their Antichrist. That makes me the Muslim Mahdi. What if he's saying that? What if, point is, point is, what if all the Christians calling Obama the the Antichrist gives Obama the power to say, I'm the Mahdi of Islam, the last Mahdi. Now, any government dictator, uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, you know, the Egypt, the dictators of these nations, of all these Islamic nations, if they start to agree and believe that Obama is their Mahdi, okay, that means that one person can unify that whole mess over there in the Middle East. Now, that's, that's not a good thing. Not for Christians and Jews. It's a good thing for Muslims. But the problem is, for everyone else, it's a, bad, it's a bad deal. So here's what I'm saying. What if all the chaos going on in the Middle East right now, what if all these nations have come to the conclusion that Obama is their Mahdi? Okay, that is kind of the equivalent of for well, you got to if you don't know anything about Islam you got to look that up and find out what the Mahdi is it's basically the anti-christian for them it's like their end time ruler the guy they're all looking forward to seeing the guy they all want to bring about that's what the Mahdi is all their prophecies from uh from Muhammad and written in the Quran and the hadith and all that it all points to an end time Mahdi Okay, you got to do your research on that. But if if Obama is the Christian Antichrist, okay, which a lot of people are saying he is, and I can't say that the Lord's told me that. I don't know. Okay, I wish I knew for sure, then I would proclaim it. But I can't proclaim it. But the Bible says out, out of the mouth of two or more witnesses may all things be established. So if you got a hundred Christians out there all saying the same thing, well, that's more than two or more witnesses. But regardless, when I see somebody forcing everybody to take a mark on their right hand and makes it a law, and this guy's a ruler, then I'll know for sure. I'll be like, that's the guy right there. That's him. <laughs> that's the Antichrist. But until I see you know, some of those biblical prophecies fulfilled. But here, here's the point, though. The fact that so many Christians are saying that could put him in a situation where he can boast about that and say, look, the enemies of Islam say I'm their biggest enemy. Vote for me, Mahdi 2016, or whatever it is. However they do their figure out who their Mahdi is. 
you know, in the United States, we vote. Okay. So here's the point. What if... I now, I just read that Obama okay, has just okayed a bunch of F-16s for the Egyptian government, which... I don't know if you've read the news, but that place was like a military takeover like th like yesterday, okay? And Benghazi, has anybody ever heard of that? You know what happened with Benghazi? Okay. Bergdahl, hello? Oh, we'll, we'll take one Muslim, one deserter who converted to Muslim, to Islam, and give you a bunch of jihadists. In other words, we're going to set... Not just five jihadists free to go back to their country in the Middle East, but another jihadist to come back here as an American. I'm just saying, some people say that Bergdahl converted to Islam, ran off into the woods, and started helping the Taliban. Okay, that's what the people in his unit are saying. So you got this whole Bergdahl thing. You got Benghazi. Now there's a whole sorts of all sorts of conspiracy theories about Benghazi, okay, about how, you know, Jarrett, what's her name, Natalie Jarrett or something, anyway, how she made the order to stand down, and they could have had a gunship flying overhead, and destroyed all the militants, and then four Navy SEALs ended up dead, and a congressman, and a, well, not a congressman, but a, a, a diplomat, a high-level diplomat, anyway, the point is, I see uh, the United States hand out, handing out a lot of weaponry to these crazy, out-of-control Middle Eastern countries. Okay, we got this whole deal with Iran going on. Okay, and the la uh, two weekends ago, I prophesied that Iran, Turkey, uh, North Korea, and Russia already have an agreement to destroy America. Mm -hmm. Like, as of now. Okay. So that's a word from God. I know he spoke that. Even if you don't believe it, even if you didn't hear it from God yourself, I know because the Spirit of God came upon me in power and I spoke it. Okay? And I wasn't even thinking that when I spoke it. I'm just saying. And I remember if I was going to think that any nations had an agreement, I would the first thing I would have said is China and Russia. But China, I didn't even prophesy that. I prophesied Iran, Turkey, which I never would have guessed. I don't know anything about Turkey. Uh, North Korea, okay, and uh, Russia. But anyway, so the point is, if all these Christian, if all the Christian brothers and sisters are hearing from God, and He is the Antichrist, then He can use that as boasting rights. He, you know what I'm saying? He can say, look, the Christians say, I'm their Antichrist. Now, that puts me at, I'm, I'm the biggest enemy of Christians. That's what he'll be able to tell all the Muslims in all the Islamic world. You know? I'm just saying. So, what I'm saying is, what if all the leaders, the leader of Iran, the leader of Saudi Arabia, the leaders of Egypt... What if all these leaders actually believe that Obama is their Mahdi? And what if the one, the few leaders who didn't believe in him, like, who didn't accept him as their Mahdi, have already fallen? Like Yemen, uh, Gaddafi, the leader of Yemen, Gaddafi, and, you know, just, I'm just saying... If you look at history and you look at everything going on in the world, it's going crazy right now. <laughs> Praise God. The end is near. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing everything play out. But be careful that you keep your heart right. Stay caught up in your all your tithes and your offerings. Come out of the world. Come out of Babylon. God says he calls his people out of Babylon. Babylon the Great, just before it's destroyed, he says, come out of her, my people. So don't be more excited about anything. Don't be more excited about football. Don't be more excited about going to the beach every weekend. 
Don't be more excited about who's going to play in the NFL or who's playing in the or watching the UFC fighting championships or just don't be don't be so excited about playing golf. Don't be so excited about going out and going hunting or riding your dirt bike and just surfing, whatever it may be. For women, it's totally different stuff. It's watching too much TV and having to have a Gucci or a Chanel handbag or whatever. You know, come out of that. You know, you don't have to have a Mercedes Benz. Just let it go and serve God. I'm just saying, time's running out, and now is a good time to make sure your heart is right. And if you don't believe me, if you don't agree, you just need to read the what. Look at the news. Just watch the news for a couple of hours. I'm just saying.